Hello everyone, it's me, Rob. Now, I know you are waiting to see your Draw With Rob video, but I just wanted to pop up for a second at the beginning just to tell you about something really exciting. It's the new Draw With Rob at Christmas activity book. I think you're really gonna like this. It's full of festive, fun things to do over the Christmas period. We have, we start off with an arty advent, so it's something for you to do, a little drawing-y thing for you to do every single day from the 1st of December right up until the 24th. What else is there there? You can make your own Christmas cards, make your own Christmas decorations. I've got like a template for a letter to Father Christmas so you can tell him what you want for Christmas. We have lots of jokes to put inside Christmas crackers or to put around the table on Christmas day. I even have a little thing where you can make up a little gift box in there and you can color it in whatever colors you like. And parents, there's thank you card templates in there. So no excuse not to write thank you cards. Of course, it's full of all the draw-alongs and puzzles that you found in the first book too. Not the same ones, different ones, festive ones. We've got a Santa draw-along, we've got an elf draw-along, we've got snowman draw-along, loads and loads of things. So listen, I think you're gonna like it. It's available from wherever you get your books. So check it out. And if you like it, do let me know using that Draw With Rob hashtag. Now, on to your Draw With Rob video. Have fun everyone, and I'll see you in a second. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of <gasps> Draw with Rob with me. Hang on, where am I? There I am. Rob Bidolf and Ringo. Although Ringo isn't here at the moment, I don't know where he is. It's a very rainy day today here in London, so I think Ringo is hiding inside the house in his in his bed somewhere. Now then, I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one, Blown Away. It's a rainy day today in this book. It's a windy day. Look, a very, very windy day. And look, the penguin, Penguin Blue here, he ends up getting blown away with his friends. <gasps> and they go off across the sea and have a lovely adventure. That's a good one, that one. Maybe you've seen <coughs> this one. Grr, I'm sorry about this book being a bit scruffy. It's a, <laughs> I've read this book a lot. I think this is the actual copy of the book I used to take with me to all of my events and festivals that I did when, when this book was first published. And so it's a bit well-worn, but do you know what? This is one of my favorite stories that I've written. It's all about a bear called Fred, who loses his growl. He's a, he's a medal-winning bear. He loses his growl and, uh, and he has to work out where it's gone. He has to find his growl. It's a really fun story. So check that out if you like it. But if you like the look of it, I should say, not if you like it. How do you know if you like it? You haven't read it yet. But we're here, to, I'm really talking a lot already today, aren't I? It's one of those days, I think. We're here today to do a drawing, aren't we? And, okay, at the time of publishing, we have just had Fireworks Day here in the UK, the 5th of November. Remember, remember the 5th of November, Guy Fawkes Day. But because this year we're in a sort of lockdown because of the, the virus, the pandemic, I don't think many of you will have had fireworks. Certainly there won't have been any organized fireworks displays. Maybe you had some in your garden. If you did, I hope you were very careful with your pets, with your dogs especially, because I know dogs are scared of fireworks. So hopefully you were responsible and careful. But because we have just had fireworks day, I thought that today I would show you how to draw a rocket, a space rocket, a rocket ship. I thought that might be fun. And they're really quite easy to draw. So. Just in case you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is how it works. Because lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing, I worked out that actually it's very easy to show everybody that they can draw. All I needed to do was break down my drawings into little tiny bits, so a shape here, a little circle there, a bit of colouring in here. And when we do it a little bit at a time, we, we can end up with a really, really good drawing that we're proud of. So, this is how it'll work. I'm gonna do a little bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here. You can then pause your video and you can copy exactly what I do, just that little bit. Start me up again, I'll draw some more. Then you draw, then I draw, then you draw. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And then we end up with our lovely picture of a rocket ship. So grab yourself a piece of paper, grab yourself a pen. Which pen? I think I might use this one for this today. Maybe a couple of others at various points if I need to do a little bit of fine detail. Yes, yeah, so grab yourself a paper and um, a pen, something to draw with. We might do a bit of colouring later on, so if you have some coloured pencils or felt tips or crayons or something lying around, grab those too. Shall we begin? Okay, let's do it. Right, 
we are going to start not quite in the center so the middle of our page is there right i want you just to move down a bit to the left okay to start our drawing and we are going to draw a very simple rectangle very thin rectangle actually but we're going to do it diagonally at an angle like that okay so that's how we start our little drawing today a sort of a wonky long oblong okay the next thing to do is about halfway down your rectangle I want you to draw two little lines coming off each side so imagine it's going to be like a sort of X shape one bit of the X is like an is like a rectangle and one is just a line okay so that's how to sort of think of it in your mind okay then once you've done that oh can you hear the rain the rain's really hammering down on the roof of my little studio here I can really hear it maybe the microphone's not picking it up but oh what a rainy day I quite like it I quite like being indoors when it's raining don't you feel all cozy anyway it's very dark now as well I hope you can see what I'm doing <laughs> dear oh dear right okay the next thing to do is from this end of that line here I want you to draw a great big long curved line going right up your page to there now what we need to do the place we need to finish is if you imagine that oblong was carrying on up we need to finish sort of in line with that okay so bear it in mind don't worry too much I mean remember sometimes I tell you to do a little dot don't I to aim at you could do that if you want here you could do a little dot up there and then you could aim at it when you're doing your great big long line there the next thing we need to do is do a similar line but like a mirror image of it from here and we're going to join up with there in a sort of curve so we're going to go up curve around and we are going to join up there in a lovely sharp point so you can really see the rocket ship starting to take shape now can't you that's the basic shape of our rocket okay the next thing to do is i want you to imagine that that line goes all the way to the edge of the thing the rocket's body and I want you to put your pen there and we are going to draw a curve that comes down stops there so it stops about level with the bottom but in a nice curved shape and then I want you to go back up and curve around and we're going to join up with the side of our rocket again and these are going to be the little I don't know what you call them they're like they're like fins aren't they I suppose like if you imagine your rocket is a shark or something like that these are like the kind of the fins at the bottom but I think they also act as like stands like legs almost when your rocket is just before it's taken off our rocket is flying through the sky so it's going up that way you see now we need to do exactly the same on the other side so we're going to come down and around and we're going to stop about there and then we're going to go back up again just like before back up and join up with the body of our rocket don't worry if they're not perfectly symmetrical it really doesn't matter you know what I say don't you you say I say that when things aren't perfect that's where you get the char character for your drawing you see so don't worry if it's not perfect nothing's perfect in this life is it <laughs> right okay the next thing to do is we're gonna start adding some bits of detail to our rocket so what I want you to do coming out from the bottom of our rocket we're going to do two little lines slightly inset from the edge of our rocket like that and then I want you to go across the bottom of them like that okay and then coming out of each one we're going to draw it's sort of like a triangle with the top tip kind of cut off like that and these are going to be our rockets jets so a bit like a triangle but with the tip cut off like that okay so there are little rocket jets the next thing to do we want to give our rocket a nice nose cone here so very easy we're just going to draw pretty much a straight line across can you see I've done mine slightly slightly curved just to suggest that the rocket is going to be rounded you see okay 
And the next thing to do is we need to do, I want to draw a little porthole in our rocket so we can see inside the rocket. And mo more importantly, the person who is driving our rocket can see out. So we need to do quite a big porthole. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna draw a circle that goes almost to the edges of our spaceship, like that. And this is gonna be the porthole. Then what I want you to do is another line just inside it to give it a bit of a frame not too thick like that okay I'm going to switch to my thinner Kiritaki pen now because we're going to add a few more little details first of all our rocket is made up of lots of pieces of metal that have been riveted together okay so I want you to draw a line that goes up from here goes up to our porthole, our window, straight through it, joins up with the nose cone. And we're going to do exactly the same on this side. There we go. And then just to add a little bit of detail, I want you to add lots of little dots that sort of follow those lines up. Like that. Roughly half a centimetre apart, something like that, maybe a bit less. So lots of little dots, we're going to do it there. We're going to do the same over here. And what this does, it just adds a bit of sort of texture and detail to our rocket to make it look like it's been built by somebody. It's a very, it's a very easy way to do that. Can you see it looks like it's been sort of bolted together and it gives it a slightly kind of handmade feel, you see. And we're going to add a few bits like this. So I want you to do another one just at the bottom of here. We're going to do another line across like that. And we're going to add some more of these little dots just in there. OK, let's add some around our porthole. Now, these ones, I'm going to do them as little tiny circles here just to add a slightly different texture to our drawing. But can you see, this is very quick. We've done this, this, this drawing, we've done it actually very quickly so far, haven't we? But there's a lot of detail in it. There we go. Lots of little circles. Okay, let's do another little line here around the bottom of our nose cone. Again, we're gonna add, I'm gonna do them above this time, just a load of little dots. To make it look like it's riveted in place. Finally, add a couple of lines to our I'm going to call them fins. I don't know what they're called. I need to look it up. If I look it up, I'll tell you what those bits are called. Those bits of a rocket. I'll put it up here. I might have just written fins up there if I can't find the answer, but you will know that by now. It's yet for me to find out. <laughs> okay. Let's do a couple around here as well. This time, I'm just going to add the lines. I'm not going to add the dots there because we haven't got much room, have we? But I do need to add... I'm going to, I'm going to extend this up a little bit because this... This one here is basically these, but looked we're looking at it from straight on, so it looks like a different shape. But I'm just going to add a few little rivets in there, like that. Okay. Now then, for our rocket to fly, it needs to have jet power, doesn't it? So these are the little jets. So we need to draw a great big flame coming out of these jets. So this is how we're going to do it. I want you to imagine a big tear shape coming out the back. Now, I'm going to do that thing that I didn't do before. I'm going to add a little dot down here, sort of in line with that. And that is what I'm going to be aiming for, for when I draw the line from here to there. But I'm not going to draw a straight line. I'm going to do it, as I said, in a sort of curve to make it a tear shape. But it's not going to be a straightforward curve because I am going to start off straightforward, but then I'm going to just add a few little zigzags like that before I join up with our point. Okay, and that's gonna make it look like a big jet of fire. See, pretty straightforward. There we go, I went a bit past my point there because I decided just to make it slightly longer. So there we go. And then I'm just gonna add two little bits, diagonal lines there to kind of join our little flame thing up. Let's do a smaller one inside. So I might colour the one inside, I might colour bright red, and the one outside I will colour sort of a yellowy, orangey colour. 
make it look like it's a lovely flame. Okay, well this is looking pretty good so far, isn't it? Now, the final detail I want to add to our drawing is I'm going to add a rocket ship pilot, our astronaut in there. Now, I want you to add anybody you like into inside your rocket. Maybe you could think of what your favorite draw with Rob character that we've done over our what number video we're on number 59 so the previous 58 videos we have drawn lots and lots and lots of different characters we've drawn dragons and koala bears and sheep and seals and dinosaur all sorts of things i want you to pick your favorite and i want you to draw your favorite character just poking their head out of there okay and i can't wait to see who you choose i i think i'm going to do gregosaurus our very first video i'm going to do a little gregosaurus so let's draw gregosaurus's head there we'll do him just sort of poking his head out there he is there's his eye Oop. hello I mean, he should really be keeping his eye eyes ahead of him so he's looking where he's going but he's just having a little look out the window at us there there he is his little nose there's one of his little um spine thingy what's it so there we go there's my gregosaurus inside the space rocket pilot piloting it to the stars to the different planets and pretty much that is how our space rocket looks. What do you think? It's an easy one actually this, isn't it? It might not look easy at first glance, but pretty easy. I think it's time we should color, we, that we colored our space rocket in. Now, you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Any colors you like. If you want them to be all futuristic and silvers and sort of blues and golds and that kind of thing, go for it. If you want it to be lovely and multicolored, rainbow colors, Go for that too. I think I might do a little rainbow color rocket here. Um, but just have fun, whatever you think. Remember the rules are there ain't no rules. So I'm gonna go into super speed mode when I color mine in and I will see you back here, 30 seconds so, something like that with a lovely colored in space rocket. Okay, ready? Here we go, three, two, one, go. Okay, so there we go. There's my finished colored in spaceship. You can see I've actually shaded in the background. I've added some sort of spacey sky, nice black background there. Um, and I've gone for a sort of rainbow color with my um, rocket and sort of a combination of rainbow colors and sort of metallic silvers and reds. So that's what I've decided to go for. There's my Gregosaurus sitting in there. Um, so I can't wait to see what you guys have done with yours. Hopefully lots and lots of colorful and multicolored and multi-patterned rockets are gonna come my way. So do you remember how I get to see them? You need to get your grown up to take a picture of your drawing and then if they post it on social media using this hashtag, draw with Rob, that way I'll get to see it. Maybe your drawing will make the grid at the end of the week. If you are watching this at school or if you are a teacher and you want to do this drawing with your class if once you've done your drawings you get all the kids in the class to hold their drawings up um, and take a picture of them or just put all their drawings on the floor and take a picture of their drawings and then if you post it using the draw with rob hashtag and class of the week then that way i will get to see that and what i do i choose my favorite picture um, and that the, the class who have made all of those drawings, they become the class of the week and I'll send you a certificate, it's very cool. Um, so that would be lovely to see your drawings. I really like it when I see um, an entire class all drawing my pictures together. Um, what else do I need to do? We need to sign our drawings. Oh, I nearly forgot to sign my drawing. Okay, I'm gonna do it down here. Let's do my full name this time, Rob. Bit off. I didn't leave much space, did I, for my signing? There we go. There's my name. And do you know what? I think this drawing needs something extra. It's all very well, my rocket flying through space, but there's no stars, is there? Shall I show you? This is the benefit of having magic fingers. Okay. Would you like me to see? Would you like? Let's start again. Would you like to see me add some stars using my magic fingers? Yes. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. And. 
Look at that. A lovely starry background. <sighs> Don't you wish you had magic fingers like mine? Listen, it's been lovely drawing along with you all today. Um, I hope you've had fun. I want you all to take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, keep on drawing, keep on practicing. And I'm gonna see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, take care. Goodbye, everyone. Mm -hmm.